Welcome to this video on processing PCAP files with LangGuardian. My name is Dara Delaney from Netfort. So you've got some PCAP files and you want to do some analysis. Now I've got a quite a small PCAP file here, it's about 10 megabytes in size and it's got something like, what have I got here, 17,500, over 17,500 packets of data. Now I can scroll through this here and maybe use a filter to check for a particular protocol or search for something in here. But it's really, really hard to get a top level view of what, what was happening on this network when this PCAP file was captured. Well, now you've got a really easy way to do this. So what you need to do is download and install LangGuardian. So you can get a 30-day trial from netfort.com. Once you're up and running, click the gear symbol top right and go to sensors. You should see a PCAP file sensor here and just click on settings and then click on the PCAP file upload. Browse for your PCAP file, so this is the one I want to check out here, and upload it. So yes, it's a 10 megabyte file and I click on process. So the, this has now been analyzed, all of the packets within that file are being analyzed at the moment. Obviously the bigger the file, the longer that will take, a few seconds there for that file. And now that the data has been processed, we can take a look at what's happening. Probably the easiest way to do that is click on reports and click on top applications. Crucial thing is to make sure you select the PCAP sensor. So mine is sensor number two, so that's selected and just click on view. So what was happening on the network when this PCAP file was captured? Well, 51% of traffic was HTTP, 25% just over was uh, file share traffic and 20% was some encrypted TLSSL traffic and small amounts of other traffic there, DNS, NetBIOS, but the majority of what's in this PCAP file is file share, HTTP and some encrypted traffic. So let's take a look, uh, further look. With LangGuardian you can drill down, so let's take a look at the HTTP traffic. We can see the domains or the websites that were being accessed. And not only that, but you can actually click on the total and see what clients were accessing this site. Got the host name there as well. Drill down further. And you can see the resources that were accessed on that site, whether there were JPEGs. Uh, let's extend this here to a bigger view. So most of the images that were accessed on this, on this site. Let's go back here, go back another one somebody's on board.com, drill down, you've got the client here, the machine name, drill down again and you can see all the resources that users have access to, this client has access on this particular site. Let's go back up to the applications. The second most uh, common application within this PCAP file is FileShare. So again we have the option to drill down and what we can see is what files were being accessed across the network at the time this PCAP file was captured. So you can drill down further, you can pick a file here if you wanted to see what was happening. You've got the client, you've got the server. There's one action in this case here where somebody has read the file. So you've got the client, the server, the share, the file name and the action, you know, the amount of data associated with this. Go back to the analysis. For encrypted traffic, it doesn't mean we, we cannot analyze it. We can still drill down on this and we can see what services were, were in use. So you can see the machines. Let's take a look at this laptop and see what, what I was doing. So it was well connected to Facebook and it looks like it was also connected to Dropbox. So these are all encrypted sessions that this client had. But with the LangGuardian, you're not blind to this encrypted traffic, you can still see what connections it was making and the type of services that this laptop was connecting to. When you're finished with your PCAP file, you can go back to sensors, go to settings, go to the upload again, and you can delete that PCAP file and you can delete the data that was created or that's stored on the LangGuardian database. So now you've cleaned down the system and you're ready to go and, and analyze another packet capture file. 
Again, if you want to get this on your own network, you can download a free trial of Langardian today from www.network.com.